Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Before I begin, there's a matter that I feel has to be resolved before Rod leaves the building. Rod, could you come up, please, and stand up? Take my position. Yeah, there's a, well, up, up next. <laughs> there's been a debate raging for the last few months, and, and uh, I think we have to get it resolved and decided tonight. And that is, which one of us is capable of the most deadpan expression? <laughs> Now, I, I know this is a little unfair because I do my best work in, in the hearing, in congressional hearings. <laughs> Rod does his standing behind the Attorney General at press conference. <laughs> so, what do you say? Is it Rod or me? Rod? <laughs> Thank you for all being here, and uh, thanks to everyone who put this event together. You know, it's not traditional to hold uh, a farewell ceremony for a Deputy Attorney General in the Great Hall, but this is Rod Rosenstein, and, and given what Rod has given to this department, the years of service and his achievements, we all know that it's the right thing to have Rod's farewell ceremony here today. Now, this occasion honors Rod not only for his tenure as, as Deputy Attorney General, but also for his nearly three-decade career here at the Department. And when Rod arrived in 1990, uh, as Jim just said, there was this very uh, svelte and dynamic uh, Deputy Attorney General, uh, who I'm sure serves as an inspiration for you. <laughs> now, in those days, the Deputy job was a lot different. But I'll tell you now, the Attorney General job is a lot different. <laughs> I, you, you like records. This must be a record of Attorney General uh, uh, being proposed for contempt within 100 days of taking office. Uh, but Rod, uh, Rod's arrival at Maine Justice in 1990 was not the true start of his DOJ service. As a law student at, at Harvard, uh, Rod interned at the U.S. Attorney's Office in the District of Massachusetts, and the acting attorney, uh, U.S. Attorney in that office at the time was none other than Bob Mueller. And Bob then went on to be Assistant Attorney General for the Criminal Division, where Rod was first assigned uh, as an uh, honors program lawyer. Uh, little did we know uh, that we would be getting the old band back together. <laughs> And I've spent the intervening years uh, outside the department, but Rod hasn't, and, and he's been serving here uh, as a line attorney, as a AUSA, as the principal deputy in the tax division, as the U.S. attorney in the, the District of Maryland, among other positions. And I had the good fortune to interact with Rod uh, over the years a few times, and I recognized him as a superb lawyer who was dedicated to the department. But I've been particularly fortunate uh, to, re uh, to return to the department and to work with Rod in his latest role as the Deputy Attorney General. On a personal level, it's been a real privilege and a pleasure to have him with me these last several months. It's a matter of public record that we spent a great deal of time together of late, uh, but less well known, though certainly known to all of you here assembled, uh, are, are Rod's characteristics uh, that brings him to the office every that he brings with him to the office every day. Exceptional intelligence, sound judgment crafted from experience, composure even under the most intense pressure and scrutiny, and above all, an upbeat spirit and keen sense of humor. And I leaned heavily on all of those qualities over the past few months. And so thank you, Rod, for your support and your friendship. Now, the attributes I've just described have made Rod an exceptional leader. And part of that leadership has been his ability to assemble and operate an outstanding team. In my opinion, uh, Jeff Sessions and Rod played a decisive role in putting together, I think, the strongest team of presidential appointees in the department that I can ever remember. And the department in the country will long benefit 
from the focus and energy that Rod put into that process. And Rod assembled an outstanding staff in the deputy's office. As we all know, the deputy's job is perhaps the most challenging management position in the government today. Rod has excelled in that role. And he would be the first to tell you that a large part of his success has been the team of consummate professionals he recruited and forged into an effective and efficient staff in the office of the Deputy Attorney General. Rod's legacy of leadership is also reflected in the department's record of accomplishment under his stewardship. Under Rod, the department has achieved record levels of productivity. It has advanced critical priorities, reducing violent crime, vigorously enforcing the nation's immigration laws, and fighting hard against the scourge of illegal drugs, especially the opioid epidemic. He's faced criticism for all corners, but has proven remarkably unflappable. And this, in turn, has shown that the department is unflappable in the face of public and political pressure. Rod, you can leave here proud knowing that the department is better for your efforts and your leadership. You have left an indelible mark. So again, on behalf of myself and the Department of Justice, thank you for your service. As we bid you farewell, we know this is not really goodbye, and you will always be a friend to me and a friend to the Department of Justice. Thank you.